what's going on, Synergy Nutrition, all my friends out there. Yes, it's Mamba Day. That's why I'm wearing my Cobra jersey, 824. It's a big day if you're a basketball fan. Yeah, so happy Mamba Day to all my Kobe fans out there. Uh, rest in peace. I didn't come on here to talk to you all about basketball, though. I came on here to talk to you all about something that I've heard through the grapevine, sort of some discussions going on between some of you all and your your coaches, your former former coaches, and and uh, this mindset. And wanted to maybe speak a little bit to that. Um, and by the way, if you ever have anything, any questions or sort of pending, nagging issues, you would love to get my take or our take as a coaches and a team from a, from a scenario nutritioner. If you want our stance and some help with any of that, just post it in the group or send us a message. It was, uh, it, we'd be glad to talk about any of this, but today's topic is one for maybe some of y'all that have been around and doing this for quite some time. We've been a blessed, fortunate company. You've been keeping us super busy, by the way. Thank you for that. Keep singing my way, but we have got a uh, year's worth of clients now, hundreds of people we've served that we've worked with. And um, this is a topic that comes up if you're a newer client with us or, you know, you're still sort of in your first few months of doing this, you just might as well ignore this video because this does not apply to you. You're still in thralls of it. But what this is uh, uh, speaking to is you all have been doing this for years and are maybe feeling this little uh, feeling of burnout, of tracking, nutritional accountability, discipline, always trying to think about putting everything on your phone. We have some of those folks out there that they almost feel like this is creating some anxiety if they've been doing this forever. And I'm actually kind of one of those. So I think I could speak a little bit to this. Um, if you are feeling burnt out and just exhausted and run down and almost like this idea of this constant like eyeballs over your shoulder of what you're eating is creating stress and anxiety for you. Here's my tip. Quit. Kind of crazy. When, why, aren't you the nutrition tracking and discipline guy? Yeah, we are. Why would I say quit? Because I hope you all understand, for you that have been with us for a long time now, that the point of our program, of this company, of what we're trying to do in instilling nutrition, education, and accountability, and sustainability, is not that for the rest of your life you would carry a food scale around weighing and measuring everything, that you constantly be obsessing over every little bite of everything you put in your mouth, that you're always having to open up an app on your phone every time you eat, and having to put numbers in here, and distracted from your family or the fun event going on around you, or even enjoying your food, for goodness sakes. That was never the point of this. That's not the point. The point isn't to turn food into a constant math equation when this is something that's meant to be nourishing and enjoyable part of life that surrounds all aspects of our life. The point of all of this is to teach you how to create healthy, healthy habits and discipline around eating so that you can meet your goals, so you can attain a healthy standard, and then that you can sustain that. So if this ever creates more anxiety or becomes mentally unhealthy for you, please stop. We don't want there to be any sort of anxiety created around food whatsoever. We never did. The point of this, once again, is to create some habits and some discipline that you can then live out for the rest of your life. So if you've been doing this, I use myself as an example. I tracked almost everything I ate, give or take some periods of a little bit less intensity, vacation, that sort of thing, but more or less everything I ate for three years straight. From the beginning of this year until now, I have not been tracking. I've not been putting my food in my phone. This would be also my first tip for some of you all. I've just sort of been going out and eating freely while still trying to maintain some of the habits and mindset around what I learned over that three years of tracking. If you've been doing this long enough, you should know by now what it feels like to eat in a caloric surplus. You should know what it feels like to under eat. You should know what it feels like to hit your protein targets. You should know what it feels like if you haven't eaten enough protein. The truth is, if you've been doing this long enough, as I fortunately have, is I can pretty much eyeball and keep counting my head most of my day where I'm at from a caloric standpoint. I see a core power protein shake. I just already know that's got 230 calories in it. That's got 42 grams of protein. So what I personally have been doing for this year, not tracking, but sort of keeping a running goal in my head of the number of calories I'm consuming and also a protein target. So that would be maybe my first piece of advice for you all to experiment with. Go off the program, quit tracking, put down the phone, put away the food scale, give yourself some small targets. Maybe it's just calories. Maybe it's just you can eyeball that. Maybe it's calories plus protein. I have found personally that that is a huge win. If you will just have a protein goal, and if I hit those protein numbers, I'm generally full enough and satiated enough and recovering well enough from my workouts 
that I tend to not overeat on carbs and fats and everything else sort of stays in check. But that's going to be individual based on every one of y'all. We have sort of discovered through the hundreds of people that, that we've coached, sort of two pools of people. There are some people that the constant tracking and recording and data measurement of this actually creates less anxiety. It creates more peace. Not trying to draw any big conclusions from this really, but it, it is something I've noticed. This happens to typically be women and mothers. Uh, and, and it happens to be the kind of people that have the same mindset in other areas of life. These happen to be people that use a planner and plan out almost every little hour and section of their day. People that create lots of lists and have the list of tasks on their refrigerator and check off lists. Budgeters, people that love budgeting and do these zero base where every dollar has a purpose and budget every dollar of every month goes to a put those sorts of people that like that level of discipline and tracking and accountability tend to do the same with food and it, it doesn't create anxiety for them. It actually is very freeing when they know that they have a plan in place and they're following that plan. It actually gives them peace. There are other types of people me being one of these, where that would create more anxiety, where that is just feels too restricted and feels like I'm stifled and can't have any flexibility to live my life. I'm not a great budgeter, for instance. My wife, much better on that than I am. I don't know why this typically seems to be more men than it does women, but that's just what I've discovered. But for those of us, I don't want to create unhealthy, a mentally unhealthy relationship with food by suggesting you constantly track everything you eat for the rest of your life. No, not at all. I want you to learn the habits and discipline that you can build your life around and you can leave the nest and you can go fly and be free and go out in the world and eat and enjoy and still maintain those, those, those goals that you've met and sustain that progress. You're never going to know which one of those you are if you don't try it. So if you are at that place right now where you're feeling burnt out from this, then please Stop. Put the phone up. Try it for a few months. The worst case scenario is you backslide. You see that your progress is being re re reversed. And then guess what? We're still here. You can come right back. We can help you get back on track, get you back on track, get you tracking again, get, get the things straightened back out. And then over time, we can even help you say, hey, let's pay attention to what we're eating and try maybe one week where we're tracking, one week where we're not. Maybe a few days where we're tracking, a few days where we're not. Let's use some different tools with a coach and some ideas and build some boundaries around creating space for you then to go free and go do this on your own. That would be some ideas I would have. But in general, if this is creating anxiety or you're feeling trapped and just pressure, stop. Please don't ever let your relationship with food get to that point. That is not the purpose of this program. But on the other hand, if you're someone that's new with this, this doesn't apply to you. You don't get to fly yet. You have got to create some time to track. And yeah, for now, everything's budgeted. You're in debt. And to get out of debt and save money and invest money, guess what we're doing? We're going to be tracking everything. And once you get to a healthy place financially, in the same way, once you get to a healthy place nutritionally, then maybe we can let the reins loose a little bit and see what happens. But for now, for y'all that just starting with us, you've only been doing this for a few months, sorry. You've got to keep track. You've got to stay the course. And one day, I promise, if you really pay attention and focus on this, you'll get to a place where you feel comfortable with this, with just sort of eyeballing things as you go and playing off the field and listening to your body. It can happen. I'm a good example of this. I haven't been tracking for nine months now. Right now, my last DEXA scan, I was the leanest I've ever been. So I've not only sustained the progress, but I've actually made additional progress. And I can't help but to think it's because I gave myself a little more, more freedom, got a little bit looser with it, felt a little bit less trapped. This wasn't on my mind just with this pressure all day long. Yet I still have some of the, that discipline, some of those habits in place just from doing this for years and having built those habits over time. So that's a little word of encouragement for you guys. Give it a shot and reach out, please, if you have any questions. Uh, myself, our team of coaches, we're always here to help. We love you guys. Hang in there and keep up the good work. Thank you.